Hi Luann, my name is Elijah. I know you spoke with my wife Naomi about us putting together a video to go over what your company can do in order to increase its customer base. So I'm going to answer out the park. If you're wondering why we would do this, it's because I realized that when companies like yourself are focused on growing, they tend to neglect their online presence. And if they've neglected their online presence and they start to realize how important it is, they fade away from hiring somebody because they're not sure they can trust them, or they've hired someone in the past and they realize that those guys really aren't who they say they are and they've been burned. So what I like to do is put together a video to show you guys free things that you can do in order to change your business's current production level. And what happens normally is that someone will come back to me and they'll say, hey, you know what? Elijah, we don't have the time to do this. We're too focused on building our business. Can you take care of the online portion of it? We'd really appreciate it. And of course I oblige. And if that's how you guys feel at the end of this video, then for sure send me a message or give me a call and we can set up a time to talk about what your vision is for your company and how to move forward. Today I'm gonna talk about three different things with you guys. I'm gonna talk about content, citations, and backlinks. The first I'll start with is content. So I had the honor of checking out your website. I was super impressed. I love the way it lays out. It's a beautiful website. Google, however, doesn't care about beautiful websites. Google cares about content. And the first thing I noticed on your website is that you guys don't have 1,500 words of content. In today's realm of the 20th century when it comes to SEO optimization with websites, content is key. 1,500 words tells Google that you have something worthy to talk about with other, co other competitors. Not just competitors, but other clients. So I took a look at Yarzen. Yarzen is your number one competitor when it comes on um, searching for your particular keyword. You guys' largest keyword is landscape design and construction. And I'm going to show you what tool I use in order to figure that out. Anyway, when I checked out their, their website, I didn't see anything that blew me away. Sure, it's a nice website, but for, personally, I was captivated more by your website. Not to mention they don't have 1500 words. So it's easy to say that this competition shouldn't be dominating you in the type of traffic that they have coming in. The next thing I want to go over is citations. You guys have 43 citations. I love it. Citations are a digital footprint. That's where you're going to keep your name, your address, and your phone number. Most people consider it a directory. You've done things like add Pinterest, MapQuest, Yellow Pages, Manta, Yahoo, and Facebook. Facebook is new, so kudos on you guys for capturing that. A lot of companies don't. When I look at your competition, your competition doesn't have any of that. However, it rolls right into why I'm upset that your competition is beating you as far as traffic flows and my next tool. So the next tool I'm going to go over is called ARES. ARES is a tool that costs about 600 bucks a month. Um, you don't have to spend that. You can get SEO Quake or SEM Rush, and I think it's like 200 bucks a month. And they'll allow you to do like a free trial for like 14 days or something like that. And you can get the most that you want to out of it in just those 14 days. But I use ARES. So when I check out your website and I look at your keywords, I can see that landscape designs and plans is one of your main keywords. It's got a volume of 1400, which is super important. That means 1400 people search for this. About 29 people actually go to your site for it. And then I know you're probably wondering what this KD is. So this is keyword density. That tells how difficult a word is to, uh, to, to rank for. With it being 35, it's actually not that difficult. And the fact that you guys have a retarded amount of backlinks, it didn't matter. It only needs like 40 backlinks in order for you to rank for this. So you guys have more than enough backlinks to rank for it. But when I look at your competitors, your competitors are looking for several different keywords that you aren't. The point I make about this is that ARES is a really cool tool that allows me to see what your competitors have and to go after it if I want to. Speaking of which, I think 44,000 times over 1,600 would be any day, no matter what the keyword density is, because of the amount of traffic they have coming in. They're making a lot of money. And I'm going to show you something else because I want you to see it. Your company right now is ranked at 3 million. Your competitor's company is ranked at 10 million. Most things on here they're beating you in. Backlinks, referring to domains, DR, but not your organic keywords they're beating you in, which is why their organic traffic is beating you in as well. So a lot of people don't realize it, but when you have really good rated keywords, 
then you'll have really good organic traffic that goes with that keyword. So the reason why keywords are so important is because it's either in a, a series of phrases or four words or less, a specific keyword that people are searching. And when you have really, really good keywords, it means oftentimes that your organic keywords will link directly to your organic traffic, which is why this particular company is beating you because their organic keywords are actually solid keywords that are equaling up to solid searches that are happening in Google. And that's why they're at 5.7 thousand traffic. I want more of that tracker for you guys. So one of the last things I want to talk to you about before we end this video are your backlinks. I want to go a little bit deeper into what I was telling you about. So I use ARES before, this is a tool called Majestic. Majestic is really awesome because it shows me all your competitors' backlinks. There's something called trust flow and there's something called citation flow. Trust flow is about link quality and citation flow is about link volume. We do something called um, the golden ratio, that, like, that's what we look for. And what that is is when your trust flow is divided by your citation flow. And as close as it is to one says that you're in a perfect position, uh, a perfect position for um, for trust or for a solid website. So when I look at you guys is when I look at you, you guys and your competitions, trust flow and citation flow, you guys aren't too far off. Your trust flow is at a nine. There's a difference in what topical is and your citation flow is at 29. Your competitor is at your competitor is at a nine and their citation flow is at 13. So they have less citations. This is the caveat that really sucks. The fact that their trust flow is low and their citation flow is low, when they divide those two numbers by each other, it's like closer together when it comes to one. Yours, however, because you have a hot, you have a, a higher citation flow and a lower trust flow, which means that you have a lot of links coming in, but a lot of those links aren't trusted. So it increases the deficit between the two of these numbers, which makes your golden ratio a lot lower than what it should be. So what you want to do is change the quality of citations that you have coming in. And that will give you a better trust flow. That will give you a much better golden ratio. So last, I told you before I talk about three different things. I told you I'll talk about content, citation, and backlinks. Content, you need 1,500 words at minimum on your homepage. Citations, you need 200 to blow out your competition. Your current competition doesn't have 200. So at the current citations that you have right now, honestly, you can keep them where they're at and you can focus on a different area, which is the next topic, which is backlinks. So backlinks, Google sees that as site authority. And what site authority is pretty much is like, say you're the new kid that comes to a high school, you've never been there before, you happen to be the kid, he happens to be in the popularity crowd, he likes you, you guys become friends. Now you're part of a popular group. It works the same way for websites. So Google sees that you're getting rankings or linkings from companies that have higher ratings when it comes to your URL and DR. And they think, okay, well, if they're getting backed up by companies with really, really high rankings, then they must be solid or legitimate businesses. That's what backlinks are. You want to increase the quality of your backlinks. You guys have really low quality backlinks right now which is why I say that more isn't always better, but better quality is 100% better. So change that. Thanks again for taking the opportunity to check out this video. Uh, I really hope that you got something from it. If you guys realize that I know a lot more than what I'm putting on in this video and you wanna talk about how we can do things differently in order to grow your company beyond where it's at right now, please send me a message or give me a call. I'd love to hear from you and talk about how we can go further in the future. If not, and you guys just wanna figure these things out for yourself, or even give it to your current marketing team in order for them to upgrade and change things for you. I'm all for that. I just want to see you guys do better. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I look forward to hearing from you regardless.